What is a honeypot, and how can you avoid them? A honeypot is a bad website on Tor that de-anonymizes users when a Tor user is connected to that page containing the honeypot. A honeypot is usually set up by someone who wants to reveal a Tor user's real identity through their official location and IP address, which completely ruins that person's anonymity, and from there on, that honeypot could leak thousands, if not, more, Tor users' IP addresses, locations, and real-world identities, all because that bad guy on the other end decided to intercept the Tor traffic and de-anonymize the user. Thankfully, it is not likely you will come across a honeypot on the Tor network, however, it is extremely important that you stay cautious and do not go to unknown or non-reputable links to dark web or deep web sites, as this can be a way you get connected to a honeypot. Furthermore, if you are using a VPN or proxy, the person who is trying to see past your Tor anonymity will not be able to find out your real location or IP address because both are already hidden when using a VPN, your IP address is tied to a physical location which can then pinpoint exactly where you are and what time you're accessing the internet, so using a VPN will hopefully reduce your chances of having your anonymity blown. However, no method is bulletproof, people are always finding new ways to reveal Tor users' real IP addresses, which can then be used by the feds or law enforcement to take serious legal action against that end user if they have been found to have been browsing for illegal content. Tor is not bulletproof, and it is important to understand that while you are not likely to have this happen to you if you're using Tor, there is always a small chance that someone can intercept your traffic, and next thing you know, cops are on your doorstep, asking you why you have been browsing the dark web, and without VPNs, bridged connections, or proxies, interceptors and law enforcement can see exactly what it is you're looking at, with the help of de-anonymization tools, and then that information can be used to take legal action if deemed necessary by law enforcement. Tor can be a weapon of its own disguise, it can be used to help you earn a ticket to jail, due to legal consequences of browsing the dark web, yep, even browsing can be enough to land you in prison, in some places. So unless you're prepared to accept the legal consequences that come with browsing the dark web, you need to take your security up a notch, and the simplest way to add extra protection on top of Tor is to use a reputable, secure VPN, that does not collect, store, and sell any personal information, and using Tor without a VPN is the worst thing you could do, because while you're going through three individual relays, also known as onion layers, interceptors can easily take down that level of security and then see who's really behind the active connection to a dark web or deep web site. If the person on the other side is an FBI agent, or some sort of agent working for a government agency, then even a VPN will not protect you, because the feds have ultimate power and such sophisticated tactics and tools that no civilian has and that power can and will be used against you if deemed necessary, and government agencies, because they know that Tor is an anonymous network, they are constantly trying to crack down on and spoof various security tools such as Tails OS, Tor, etc., government agencies, hackers, and spies can crack and host a spoofed version of that specific security software, which is why you are to never ever run Tor, Tails, who nicks, whatever, without first running a verification check. And I seriously mean never ever run Tor or any security software without first checking it is safe and the package has not been tampered with, otherwise you could find yourself using a version of Tor where the feds are spying your every move, which is not the intended purpose of these special tools, in fact the polar opposite of what Tor is designed to do, and even a VPN will not protect you here, they have tools that can see past everything, and your ISP can sniff for packages which hint you're on a VPN, which might arouse suspicion. With all that scary stuff out of the way, here is what you can do to help yourself stay extra careful on the dark web. 1. Do not use Tor without first using a VPN. This ensures that even if your connection to Tor is compromised, your real identity remains partially hidden with that VPN, therefore, your user activity cannot be traced back to a real location which you are actually at. 2. Do not use Tor without verifying it is safe to use and has not been tampered with. Run a verification check on the downloaded Tor package to ensure it is not compromised, spoofed, or has been tampered with, and that it comes from its original and reputable developers. 3. Do not use Tor on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, or Android. These systems are a massive hold to your security and privacy, especially mobile systems, as they are commonly tied with a SIM card, which is tied to a real-world identity, so never ever use a mobile device for using Tor. And Windows and Mac OS users can think about using Tails OS or Hunix, two Linux distributions specifically designed to browse the dark web and keep the user's profile and activity as concealed and anonymous as humanly possible. 4. Encrypt your hard drive or SSD. This will ensure that nobody can tamper with or find data stored on your hard drive, and this will stop people from knowing you've been using the Tor browser and browsing the deep and dark web, because if swap files are kept, and somehow, your computer knows you've been using Tor. 
which it most likely will unless you're using a private Linux distro, then encryption is a safe and secure way to stop interceptors and the feds from finding data associated with Tor browser on your machine. Do beware however that if data is demanded and you do not comply, you can have serious legal action taken against you. Please note that this video is purely for educational purposes only, and it is not designed to say that the feds or cops are bad, it's just that if you get too confident and do something stupid, legal action can and will be taken against you, or you unknowingly do something which gets the attention of the police, and it's to educate those of you willing to use Tor browser, because Tor is great, but it is not 100% safe or secure, as anyone can at any time intercept your connection, relays are always getting compromised. And with only about 6,000 or so relays in existence, this makes it much much easier for a bad guy to intercept and compromise your Tor traffic to then reveal your real identity and IP address. Poor operational security can cost you dearly, sometimes it can even cost you your life. So you want to try and avoid making mistakes where possible. The dark web is a place where you cannot afford to make any mistakes. Operational security will ensure you don't make deadly decisions. That will cost you your entire life. By the way, did you know that government agencies and law enforcement also use Tor? Yep, it's true, they use it to anonymously discover criminals and raid or take down dark web markets. Tor was invented by the United States government after all, so is it any wonder they too use it to gain extra anonymity? Well, no it's not, it's actually probably part of their job, but us citizens need to start taking our right for privacy back, and stop these corrupt corporations from harvesting our data like it is going out of fashion. So anyone who is watching this video right now is greatly encouraged to check out my privacy playlist, which contains many videos on how to stay safe, private, and secure online, using the Tor browser and other privacy tools. If you would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing, and give this video a like if you found it to be useful or helpful. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.